We in medical science are well. Cancer is one of the most deadly and elusive enemies ever faced by man. All too often, it is an that goes untreated until, at last, when professional, it is found that cancer has been present for many months. Take the case of Bert Marshall. From all indication of this X-ray. And from other observations, he seems to be confined to the stomach. Oh, what chance do I really have, Doctor? Mr. Marshall, I have no desire to mislead you. I'm sure you realize that recovery is not a sure thing, but... if we can go through surgery as quickly as possible, I believe you have a good chance of recovery. Well, I... I appreciate your being so frank with me, Dr. Swanson. I guess I don't have to tell you how I feel. I know how you feel, but this is the time for action rather than pity. You need to have the will to be cured. Beyond that, medical science will play its part. We've learned a great deal about cancer, but uh, a great many questions go unanswered. It was Hippocrates, the father of medicine, who in the fourth century BC, first gave the name cancer to the malady. Cancer is known to affect most plants and animals. Cancer begins as a departure from normal cell growth that is harmful and unceasing. The rapidly growing abnormal cells usually differ sufficiently from normal ones to be recognizable under the microscope. Once cancerous cells appear, they soon develop into a clump of tissue that lives at the expense of the entire body. This tissue crowds and robs nourishment from other cells, tissues, or organs. If the abnormal cells grow slowly in a limited area, they are called benign tumors. If the cells in rounding tissue or spread to other parts of the body, they constitute a malignant tumor, one that is cancerous. Cells of malignant growths may break off and travel through the bloodstream to other parts of the body. There, they may start new cancerous growths. In hospitals and elsewhere, progress is being made in the diagnosis and treatment of cancer. Special equipment, like the X-ray fluoroscope, helps identify and locate cancers. This is the kind of instrument used to make the photograph of Mr. Marshall's stomach cancer. With a gastroscope, the doctor can look inside a patient's stomach. In research laboratories, cancers are being induced in animals so that tests and treatments may be made upon them. But despite research, and improved techniques of treatment, cancer remains man's number two killer, second only to heart disease. Little wonder that a victim of cancer like Mr. Marshall feels depressed. Don't worry, the doctor says. It's easy to say when you're healthy. As for me, I, I might as well give up. I'm no good to myself or my family now. The doctor says that one out of seven has a cancer at one time or another. That's a lot of people. I, some of those folks are likely to be cancer victims now. Or possibly some of them have recovered from cancer. Yeah, but if they have recovered, they've probably discovered it earlier than I did. Oh, if only I'd gone to a doctor sooner. Early treatment does give a higher percentage of cures. Why did Mr. Marshall wait so long? Should have known something was wrong. That stomach distress and all. But I drifted along. Guess I was afraid to ask for medical advice. I listened to people who knew as little as I did. Say, what's the matter with you anyway, Bird? Oh, I don't know, Ken. It's that old stomach upset again. Upset stomach? Why don't you take a little soda or a pill? I don't know, Ken. I've had these pains a lot lately. You know, the other day I saw a program on TV about cancer. And one of the symptoms they mentioned is exactly the same thing I've gotten. 
You know, it really scares me. Yeah, what are you talking about? Those fellows are always trying to talk people into going to see a doctor. Go in for a checkup every year. Go in every time you get a mole on you or something. It's a lot of nonsense, this cancer business. Besides, this cancer is mostly for old people anyway. <laughs> you know, I read some figures the other day that said that nobody gets cancer but old people. I certainly shouldn't have paid attention to fellas like Ken. But I had to talk to someone, and well, I couldn't bring myself to tell the family my fears. It was only when I had the particularly bad attack that I finally went to the doctor. I remember how the doctor went into great detail with me about my past history, and, and how he gave me a thorough examination that lasted through several visits. We cancer specialists do make a thorough study of each patient's case. We know that many cancers can be treated successfully. Once the diagnosis is completed, using the different instruments and tests at our command, some form of therapy is begun. For some cases, X-ray treatment is an acceptable technique. The X-rays are focused on the cancerous tissue. X-rays help destroy cancerous cells. Only specially trained technicians should ever administer such treatments because any large excess of x-rays may harm healthy cells as well as cancerous ones. When it is possible to operate, the removal of the cancer usually offers the most certain means of ridding the body of the cancerous growth. Cancer of the stomach can be removed surgically, so Dr. Swanson uses surgery on Mr. Marshall. In males, the digestive tract is most frequently afflicted with cancer. Other areas where cancer often strikes are the mouth, the respiratory tract, the skin, and the urinary system. In the female, cancers of the breast and the uterus are the most prevalent. But cancer of the digestive tract and the skin are also common. What causes cancerous growths to start? This is a question still largely unanswered. But a few facts are known. People exposed to the sun and wind a large part of the time, like farmers and sailors, have more skin cancers than those who are not exposed. Chronic irritation of a part of the body, like the lip or tongue, may lead to cancer. The hot stem of a pipe may be such an irritant. Certain chemicals have been known to cause cancer. Frequent exposure to x-rays or radioactivity without adequate protection is likely to develop cancers. Technicians and doctors wear protective clothing to avoid exposing themselves to x-rays when they are using such equipment. But for the average person, what are the symptoms, the danger signals of possible cancer? The common danger signals are easy to detect. Any sore that does not heal, a lump or thickening in the breast or elsewhere, unusual bleeding or discharge, any progressive change in the appearance of a wart or mole, persistent indigestion, or difficulty in swallowing, persistent hoarseness or cough, or any change in normal bowel habits. Yeah, you ought to be a very happy man, Mr. Marshall. As far as we can tell, your operation is a success. How do you feel? Well, I feel pretty good, Doctor. I haven't any pain, and uh, I'm mighty anxious to get home. Well. You are feeling well. <laughs> Wanting to go home. And don't you worry, you'll be there just as soon as possible. There is something that does worry me, Doctor. As a matter of fact, Betty and I were just discussing it before you came in. Does my having cancer mean that Jimmy here will inherit it? If that's all that's worrying you, put your mind at ease. Cancer isn't inherited. So just forget about any danger to Jimmy because of your trouble. Well, I've got other patients to see. I'll drop by tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank you for coming, doctor. Severe distress finally led him to the doctor. 
but distress is often entirely absent in cancer cases. So the best protection is continual vigilance. Know the danger signals of cancer. Any sore that does not heal, a lump or thickening in the breast or elsewhere, unusual bleeding or discharge, any change in a wart or mole, persistent indigestion or difficulty in swallowing, persistent hoarseness or cough, any change in normal bowel habits. If you detect any of these danger signals, don't hesitate. Seek medical advice. We doctors are improving our techniques. No individual is alone in the fight against cancer. Research workers are finding and reporting more and more facts. The American Cancer Society, the press, radio, and television, all are helping contribute to a bending of cancer. What it is and how we will conquer cancer. <laughs>